Preps and welcome back to Maths for Day 4. We have been ordering numbers this week, we've been counting forwards and now we're counting backwards. I'm going to need you to grab one of these today, that's your alphabet chart with the number line down the bottom and I'm going to show you how you can use that number line to help you count backwards. So we've got our trusty dinosaurs again and this time I'm going to find the number 10 and then I'm going to use that to help me count backwards. So I'll start with number 10 over here. Whenever we do ordering, we always go from left to right. So I'm starting with number 10 and now I'm going, see this is tricky, I've got to go backwards down on here. I need to go to number nine, which means now I'm going to number nine here. So I've got 10, nine, eight. Let me look for number eight. Oh, there it is. So even though this is going this way, I'm going this way and that's where it gets tricky in counting backwards with the number line. 10, 9, 8, 7. Ooh, some of my oh, some dinosaurs. Of my blown over. Goodness, in the me. wind. They're very happy though, these dinosaurs. Oh, they are. They're they? so happy. I can check here. 10, 9, 8, 7. There's 7 and now going backwards, that's 6. Remember that tricky one, number 6? There we go. Oh, it's a spiky one. That might be why it's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to my number line. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Here comes number 5. It's a green one. There we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. The next one, I've kept my finger there that whole time so I didn't lose it, is number 4. There we go. And now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. What comes next? 3. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Ooh, I'm nearly there. 2. And now, number 1. Now I can check my number line to make sure it's right by saying the numbers as I point to them. And I'll be able to hear that I've counted it correctly because we do know the order of the numbers so I've got to check now that it matches the numerals that's what's written down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 BLAST OFF! We did it perhaps we blasted off those dinosaurs to the moon Oh you made me trip I was blasting off so much I got a bit excited because today perhaps we are going to blast off with a rocket so let me grab my page out. It's on the floor. Okay, now you have... Scissors are just over there, Mrs. Mac. Yes. Oh, good. That's all right. Angelou, you've left it for me. Thank you, Mrs. Ballard. I'm just going to cut out... Oh, so much paper on you. Mm. Okay, so now I've got my numbers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And I need to put them on here. We're going to start with number 10 at the top because today we're learning to count backwards. That's our focus. I don't want you to start with number one down the bottom. That should be your last one. We're going to start up the top at number 10. If we get confused, we can use a number line to help us, just like I used with the dinosaurs, but you're going backwards that way. Okay, so we're going to start with number 10. Very careful cutting. I've got my thumbs on top. I'm moving the paper as I go around. This is tricky preps because these squares, they're small. Might get a little bit frustrating, but keep going because the more you do, the, the better, better you get. get. That's right. Oh, This is a bit of an old fuddy-duddy glue, isn't it? It is. It had lumpy bits in it when I used <laughs> it. Got still, of, still got lumpy bits. Oh, it's getting all over my fingers. <laughs> 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 and carefully stick it onto the border there. Oh, Alrighty. that's looking exciting already. It is. <gasps> Ten. What comes next? Nine. There we go. We can check it on the number line. Let's go this way. Now, I can tell you, perhaps, one way to make it more fun. Would you like a way to make it more fun? Oh, definitely, Mrs. Mac. Well, I'm going to show you a way because if you just cut it out one by one from the page, it's actually not very challenging. And the whole reason we're doing this is to learn. So if you would like more of a challenge, and I think you will, 
cut out all of these first. And mix them all up. And mix them up, oh, just like we mixed up the dinosaurs. That's a good idea. I think that's a great idea. Because it makes it harder. It and does. as you say, that means your brain works harder, doesn't that's it? That's right. So we're going to cut them up. Do, do, do. I'm going to do it very fast. And when, they, when you do cut them up, some of them might end up upside down. So just turn them around and cut out the rest. Now I won't cut out all of them, I'll just show you a little bit what that could be like. Quick, 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 snippity snip, because I know it's probably not the most exciting TV watching me <laughs> cut out tiny little numbers. <laughs> oh, it's very exciting. <laughs> It was more fun making the dinosaurs go kaboom. Yeah, I think so. Well, okay. no, I do like it because we're going to have a rocket at the end. Well, this is true. Mm. All right, so I've cut out some of the numbers so you can see it actually becomes a little bit more challenging now. I can check here with my number line, 10, and I'm moving two fingers at once, 9. Now I need to find number 8, and that's going to go in here. All right, number 8 there. And then I can stick that on. All right, I've got eight there and I've got eight here. I need to go back one. What comes before that? It's number seven. So then I'm going to stick number seven on. And I think you could do the rest, preps. Mm. And I think in your copy, copy, you don't have the bright colour, but you could paint them or colour them at home too. Absolutely. And then we want to see some marvellous rockets, perhaps when you share in the morning on our morning meetings. All right, good luck, preps. See you later.